Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a new plugin. The name of the plugin is One Page Quick Checkout for WooCommerce. Using this plugin, you can create pop-up checkout form, one page checkout. It also has customizable checkout fields, direct or quick checkout option, menu cart with drawer, checkout without page refresh and many other features. This plugin has free as well as premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro version of the plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin, how you can create a one page quick checkout using this plugin. Let me show you the features of the premium plugin, pop up checkout form, one page checkout, a direct checkout button, checkout without page refresh, checkout form customization, support with any page builder. And the price of the pro version is only $39 per year for a single website in which you will get all the pro features, one year support and one year unlimited updates. You will also get 30 days money back guarantee. Here you will see the list of all the features in the free and the pro plugin. So if you want to check all the features of this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. Here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website. And now we are going to install the free one page checkout plugin. So let's go to dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And this is the name of the plugin, one page quick checkout for WooCommerce. This is a new plugin, so you may not find in the search box. However, you can download the plugin directly from here, or you can go to add new plugin and here search for plugin C. This is the name of the company or the developer. And you will see the plugins which are developed by this company. Uh, this is the plugin one page quick checkout for WooCommerce. Click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel, you will see the option here on page checkout. Click on it and you will be on the dashboard of this plugin. Now, before that, let me show you the shop page of this website. This is the shop page of this WooCommerce website. Now, let's go back to dashboard. And we are going to enable one page checkout. You will see the option here. Enable this option. Form position. This is the priority of the form position. And I'm going to set it to one so that it will be at higher priority. Then we have the option empty cart on page load. So if there is any product in the cart, it is going to remove the product from the cart when you load the page. So as of now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Then we have add to cart on page load. If you enable this, it is going to add the product automatically into the cart. So if I go to this product page and when this product page is loaded, it is going to add that product automatically into the cart. So that's what this option is. So I'm going to keep it disabled for now. Hide add to cart. If you want to hide add to cart button, you can enable this option. Enable for all products. So I'm going to enable this option so the one page checkout will be enabled for all the products you can also enable one page checkout manually on each product if i go to this single product page and go to edit product you will see the option here one page checkout so if you do not want to enable one page checkout for all the products you can go to each product manually and from here you can enable a one page checkout for a specific product in this case, I'm going to enable it for all the products. So we have it enabled here. This is for the single product page. Then we have multi product one page checkout. Empty cart on page load. So let's enable this. This is the multi product page. If you have shop page, this is the multi product page. So it is going to empty the cart when the shop page is loaded. So if there is any product in the cart, it is going to remove it from the cart. Add to cart on page load. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. Let's click on save changes. Now let's go to the next tab that is a direct checkout. Now we are going to enable a direct checkout. It will show the button on the product page. So we have it enabled and the button text will be quick checkout or you can name it as buy now. So this is going to be the text and where do you want to add this button after add to cart button or if you want you can replace add to cart button with buy now. So I'm going to keep it as it is after add to cart button. And these are the display settings where do you want to show these buttons. So I'm going to select all the options. This one is available for the pro version only. So let's check all the options. I want to show the buy now button for 
all the pages all right and the button style will be default woocommerce style click on save changes now let's go back to shop page let's refresh it and now you will see a buy now button so if i click on buy now it is going to add that product to the cart and it will go directly to the checkout page so there is a buy now button which when clicked it is going to add the product automatically to the cart and it will go to the checkout page now leave it as it is now let's go back let's go to quick view this is a quick view button which we can show on the product page let's enable this option quick view this is the button text where do you want to show this button let's say i want it overlay on the product image all the other options are for the pro version only so i'm going to use this one button style display style will be let's say icon only and button style will be default let's enable the icon i icon and the position will be left or right let's set it to right and save the changes now next to that you will see pop-up manage these are the general settings for the quick view let's go to pop-up manage and what do you want to show on the quick view i want to show the product image product title a rating product price short description add to cart button quantity selector product meta and view details link all right and model size is not available for the free version and this is also not available for the free version so i'm going to keep it as it is and click on save changes the next option is display where do you want to display i'm going to select different options from here so the quick view button will be shown on these pages main shop page will also have the quick view button let's click on save changes next option is advanced not available for the free version all right now let's go to shop page and refresh it and if i move the cursor on the product you will see this quick view option if i click on it it is going to open the quick view window so the quick view feature is also available in the free version and let's go back now let's go to the next option that is features product quantity controller let's enable it enable product quantity controller to manage product quantities in the checkout form add image before product let's not enable it at least one product in the cart not necessary and disable cart page now if i go here i can still access the cart page you will see that i can still access the cart page if you do not want to show the cart page then you can enable this option link product name in the checkout page let's enable it and click on save changes now let's go back to checkout page that we have here let's refresh it and now you will see the quantity controller is added on the checkout form so i can increase or decrease the quantity from here all right so this is the quantity controller now if i go to shop page and if i go to cart page it is not going to open the cart page because we have it disabled here so if you still want to use the cart page you can disable this option and save the changes next option is add to cart using this you can create a customized add to cart you will see the option enable custom add to cart button so if i enable it you can create a new add to cart button from here so i'm going to keep it as it is for now let's go to checkout form and using this you can customize the checkout form if you do not want any option or any field on your checkout form you can disable it from here let's say you do not want to show the coupon field then you can hide the top coupon if you do not want privacy policy text you can hide it from here you can also hide the payment option hide the product table from here right so this is to customize the checkout form then we have text to manage these are the text labels which you can customize from here all right so i'm going to keep it as it is let's go to advanced settings and uh, these advanced settings are available for the pro version only then we have plugin license which is for the pro version so let's go back to one page checkout uh, let's say i do not want add to cart let's enable it and save the changes now if i go to single product page you will see that the add to cart button is not there anymore because we have it disabled from here so it will not show the add to cart button on the single product page these settings are for the single product page now let's see we have add to cart on page load right let me click let's delete all the products from the cart right we do not have any product in the cart 
let's go to home decor quick view let's click on view full details this is the product if i open this product when the so when the product page is loaded you will see that product is added to the cart automatically that's what we have it here add to cart on page load so if someone goes to that product page it is going to add that product to the cart automatically and you will see the checkout form on the product page itself so customer will be able to buy the product from the product page itself so if i click on it you will see the add to cart this is the cart now if we enable this option empty cart on page load save the changes refresh it and from here i'm going to open another product if i go here you will see that new product is added to the cart now we are on this page if i go to another product if i go to this product you will see that the old product is removed from the cart and the new product is added to the cart so this is how it works it is going to empty the cart and this one is going to add the product automatically to the cart so there are many different settings that you can play with now i do have the pro version of the plugin so i'm going to install the pro version of the plugin so let's go to plugins so and click on add new plugin and i have it downloaded so i'm going to upload the plugin and install it click on activate plugin all right so the pro version is installed and it is activated let's go to settings and here you will see an option to enter the plugin license so i do have the license key and i have already activated the pro version so let's go to the home page now you will see some pro features are enabled the checkout page layout will be two columns one column or product first and then checkout so we have it on two columns now as we have installed the pro version we will need to enable these options let's do the same settings for the pro version enable all the options from here enable the quick view also let's use the slide effect now you will see that we have access to advanced settings mobile optimization close on add to cart keyboard navigation track quick view events and all the other features click save changes then go to features we have other features available now address autocomplete multi-step checkout which is coming soon force login before checkout that option is available enable captcha on checkout page that is also coming soon so there are some features which will be coming soon click save changes let's go to add to cart from here you can create a customized add to cart now you will see checkout form which is much better than the free version so this is how the checkout form will look if you do not want coupon section you can simply disable it from here these are the billing settings you can disable or enable any field this is how the checkout form will look save the changes these are the advanced settings enable trust badges badge position all right let's go back to shop page and let's refresh it and we have buy now this is the quick view it should be on the image let's click on quick view now quick view is much better than free version close it click on buy now and you will see a pop-up checkout form now instead of going to checkout page you will see a pop-up here so customer will be able to check out directly from this pop-up window let's close it instead of going to cart it will go to a pop-up checkout form we have it to the cart we have disabled the cart that's why it is not showing the cart however you can manage the product from the checkout page so this one shows two images let's go back and go to features this option is enabled that's why it shows two images we can disable it express checkout option is available which is coming soon click on save changes 
All right, let's change the position of the quick view. You can go to quick view and the position it shows is after product image. You will see different positions for the quick view button. I'm going to use overlay on product and it will be text with icon and icon will be eye icon. See the changes. Now, if you want to remove this add to cart button from the shop page, you will see the option here under direct checkout. You will see option button position after add to cart before add to cart or you can replace the add to cart button so let's select it click on save changes let's go back to shop page and refresh it and now you will see there is no add to cart button and quick view is at the top if you move the cursor on it you will see the quick view if i click on it it is going to open the quick view if i click on buy now it will open a pop-up checkout form from where the customer will be able to buy the product so i can remove the product from here also so if you want to enable a one page quick checkout on your woocommerce website you can try using the free version if you want more features you can go for the premium version of the plugin which will cost you only 39 dollars per year for a single website you will also get 30 days money back guarantee so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.